When asked, mid-level leaders often say they do not like networking. And usually it's because they associate it with politicking or smooching. And many are just ineffective at it. However, in our research, we have found that successful leaders that perform at high levels often invest 70% more time in strategic networking than their underperforming colleagues. And so they have found these different ways of looking at networking and strategic efforts and behaviors to do it in a way that serves them in their career goals. And so the first thing they do is they shift their belief and their intention around networking from, hey, I need to get something from somebody or I need to just pass out as many cars to, hey, how can I meet someone and form a genuine connection? And how can I help them solve a problem? And how can I leverage this into being a long-term relationship that supports me and them ultimately being a win-win situation? And the last thing I will say is making sure that when they're networking, there are people that are strategically aligned to their career goals. And what I like to call, they have people on their career growth list. Now, I want to share a quick story with you on the impact of strategic networking for me. After graduating college, I had an interest of working with a specific global well-known consulting firm. And there was an opportunity to attend a public event that was held by this consulting firm's client. So I registered for the event and I went with the intention of meeting a contact there. So I set up my elevator pitch and lo and behold, the opportunity came. And I had my chance to speak to my contact and I said, hey, this is what I've been up to. Here's my internship opportunities. I'd love to figure out how exactly I can interview for a consulting position. And she said, hey, in the next two or three months, we're going to be hiring and interviewing. So I recommend that you send your resume to my general manager. Now, at that time, I had just learned about a strategic networking skill and technique called the Golden Triangle. And the rule of the Golden Triangle says that you're at the top, and I was at the top, and on the left is someone that is in dire need of a service or they have a problem. And on the right is someone that has a solution to that problem. And you're, the role of it, right, and the real skill is learning how to facilitate the introduction between the two so that you can create a win-win opportunity. And so knowing that, I thought to myself, okay, well, before I send off my resume to this GM, what I'm going to do is help my contact get something she needs. And lo and behold, or she just happened to be the sales manager for the entire state, and I found out who was her ideal prospect. And I set a goal that I was going to get her three face-to-face -face meetings with her ideal prospect before I sent off my resume. Now, within two months, I ended up getting two out of three face-to-face -face meetings to her. And then I sent off my resume. And then I ended up interviewing for the position. And I got hired as a consultant with this consulting firm. Now, what's interesting is that after my first year and I had my yearly review with my boss, my boss was talking to me and he said, hey, Ty, do you want to know one of the reasons that you got the last interview position for that role? And I thought... Yeah, sure. Like, what was the reason? I thought I just, you know, was fortunate enough to have the opportunity. He says, well, so-and-so, you're my contact. She vouched for you extremely hard. And she was going above and beyond endorsing you, saying you were the best person for that position. He said, if it wasn't for her, you may have not gotten that last interview position. And of course, that wouldn't have led to a hire. Now, what's interesting is that my contact at the time she never saw me facilitate or consult or work with a client. However, because I solved a significant problem for her and I added that much value, she you know, endorsed me, putting her credibility on the line. So where should you start if you're looking to develop your skill set or advance your career wherever you are as a leader um, and doing it in a strategic way when it comes to networking? Number one, I recommend writing down your top three professional goals and then thinking about and writing down three to five people who can help accelerate that process, whether it be people within your existing network or the types of people in certain roles that can do that for you. Number two, attend, right? Identify and attend specific career and skill related events. And then beyond that is start cultivating a mastermind group of five to six people that have similar career goals or they're in the career that you want and they have the skill sets that are going to help support you grow. The third thing is to execute on your career growth list in a strategic manner. And one of the crucial things is to learn the communication styles or the communication techniques of strategic networking. And one of my favorite 
uh, resources from a gentleman by the name of Bob Berg, and he has a book called Endless Referrals, and he has these 10 feel-good questions that you would ask when you're meeting someone or you're first building rapport. And typically, you want to just stick to two or three, and so a couple of them might be, you know, how did you get your start in this industry? Um, what do you enjoy most about your job? You know, what ways have you been, have you found to be most effective for performing your job? And the final crucial question that will separate you from everybody else, and you only want to ask this after you've built some rapport, is how will I know I'm speaking to someone that's a good contact for you? And then, of course, you want to go to work forming that relationship if there's someone that can support you, add value to the relationship. Now, with that being said, there are more tips and a complete guideline on how do you strategically network in a way that's going to help you develop your capacity and skills as a leader. And I recommend checking out the link in the description so you can see the full article, which has the full guideline. And with that, I want to say thanks for watching, and I highly encourage you to drop a comment so I can hear your thoughts and have a super day. Thank you.